Have you ever imagined that how the food you eat throughout the day and at night gets digested even when you don't work out on a regular basis? Hello everyone. Welcome to Planet Ayurveda. Today we are going to discuss about a very important topic and that is the correlation between the digestion and our sleep patterns. So, let's start with the information. Actually, what happens that from 11 p.m. till 3 a.m., the maximum of the blood circulation is being focused to the liver. The liver receives the excessive amount of blood and gets enlarged in size. When the liver enlarges, it basically spits out all the toxins it has accumulated throughout the day. Which means that liver is the main organ which helps in detoxification of the body. And when your sleeping pattern is basically, you know, disturbed, like uh, if you sleep at 12 a.m., then you have three hours for liver detoxification. If you sleep at 1 a.m., you have only two hours. If you sleep at 2 a.m., then you have only one hour. And if you sleep at 3 a.m., you have no hours. So, that is why sleeping patterns and the digestion of our body are correlated. Digestion will not work very simultaneously or in a very good way if the toxins will get accumulated in the body. So, what should we do? We should obviously maintain our sleeping patterns and I am also going to tell you that uh, the blood circulation is uh, focused on various organs at which time. So, between 3 to 5 in the morning, the blood circulation is basically focused towards the lungs. And at that time, if you breathe out the fresh air, it will fill you with a lot of energy and with a lot of uh, good ions which are present in the air. Now, from 5 to 7, the blood circulation is being focused to the large intestine where all the absorption of the nutrition take place. And it is also the very good time for defecation, which means passing stool. And... From 7 a.m. till 9 a.m., the blood circulation is focused on your stomach, which means at that time your digestive fire is at peak. You must have your breakfast at that time because otherwise the digestive fire is that much potent that it will eat out all your dhatus or the body tissues and thus will make you malnutrition, might be. So I guess the information is of help. Stay tuned, stay healthy, stay cool and uh, do like and let us know in comments that what you think about this video. Thank you very much. Where there is health, there is no place for disease. In Planet Ayurveda, we believe in the power of natural herbs. Our goal is to prepare powerful extracts and original Ayurvedic combinations to help our customers with their health problems. The quality and purity of the herbs used in our products is crucial. Planet Ayurveda searches for farms located in the mountains of the Himalayas, as herbs that are grown in the Himalayan mountains are richer in their chemical constituents as compared to those grown in the plains areas. These small family farms are mainly situated in the villages located in the foothills of Himachal Pradesh, India. Planet Ayurveda chooses suitable farms based on the quality of their herbs and plants. We always seek for 100% pure herbs that are grown naturally in a healthy environment. In the fields of the selected Planet Ayurveda farms, no chemical fertilizers or urea is used. They only use an organic compost that has been prepared from leaves or animal manure. They also do not use any kind of fertilizers. The herbs are grown naturally without the use of any insecticide or pesticide. Most of the labor is done manually, planting, clearing fields of weeds and harvesting, which has the added benefits in giving special care to the herbs and also work for the local people. The founder of Planet Ayurveda, Dr. Vikram Chauhan, is an experienced Ayurvedic doctor and specialist in phytotherapy who has immense knowledge about the natural growth of herbs. He also personally visits the various farms on a regular basis. Planet Ayurveda 